Hey guys, welcome back to one of my vlogs. It is 7.32 a.m. right now. Previously, you've seen me get a Apple Watch. So far, I like it, but the wrist the wristband, it, it, it's just not my cup of tea. I don't like it. But I ordered another band and it should be coming in today, so we'll open that up and see how that looks. I don't know if I'll be able to put it on today or get to size it today, but I'll find out. Um, I may have to go to Walmart to resize it because I honestly don't have the tools to do it, so. I honestly don't know what to do. Cause I could go grab me a Jimmy Dean. I may go ahead and do that cause I am kinda hungry. Right. Right. Jimmy <sighs> Dean. Alright, let me go ahead and throw that thing in there. I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this and watch my morning vloggage and after that I'm gonna start reading my book. Good old book. And welcome back. It is 9.38 a.m. right now. I know it's been a, about an hour or two. I ate my dinner. Well, not my dinner, but breakfast. What am I thinking? Good lord. Got done with that. Got done watching a 30 minute vlog. Got done reading my book. So that that's good. Today looks beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. It, it looks... It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Let's go. Let's go take. Let's go take a look outside. All right, guys. So this is pretty much what it looks like today. It looks very nice. I like it. I like it indeed. See, this is a good day to go take a drive. Just a nice little cruise. Yeah. I'd love to do that. I'd love to have that time to go off to Fayetteville and just... Have a nice drive. Have a drive. Drive there, go sit at a park, maybe go eat somewhere after that, like Subway, or Golden Corral, well not Golden Corral, or like Red Lobster, or Cheddar's, or something in that region. Nothing too fancy. Something very, you know, mellow, casual. That would be a good time. I'm going to be testing out the Apple Watch for the time being, seeing how well it really does work. So far, I like it. I slept with it on. I didn't have no complaints with it. It wasn't uncomfortable. It was very soothing. Now, one thing I do regret doing is leaving my phone on because I think I got like three, four notifications and it buzzed and it woke me up. But for the most part, my, my thing behind the Apple Watch is that the biggest one you can get it's 42, at least for this model, because I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna come out with like I think 52, 58, or something like that, a little bit bigger than just this. I mean, I like it. I went on Apple and I seen if they had any bigger ones, but no, the only ones I seen were 42, and this is the biggest one I could get. I've seen other ones like made completely made out of silver, and I've seen some completely made out of gold. And the silver one was like, I don't know, about like $1,000 or something like that. And the, the gold went from like 10 carat, 14 carat, to 18 carat, to 24 carat. And the 24 carat was like, I think $10,000. But of course, I'm not going to pay that much, which nor I have that money to spend that. But I just think all in general, that would be stupid to waste $10,000 on a watch that is going to be outdated and this may be outdated within maybe two and a half years from now three years from now so i'm going to have a pretty good feel of it you know because the processors and everything inside is going to have to be updated I might as well just kind of like throw it in a sock drawer and put it there but anywho enough about that um don't know what's on the plan i don't know what's plan today i honestly have no idea what's planned today so guys it is 11 O2 right now. It looks beautiful outside. I may be making a sandwich in a sec. This is one sexy McLaren. You know, one thing I gotta say about this car is all these rich people, they get all the vehicles, they get Bugattis, they go all the way up and get Ferraris and Lamborghinis. And, you know, if I was filthy rich, I'd only want 67 Shelby Cobra GT500, a 1969 or a 1968 Dodge Charger pushing 
A 420 six Hemi, of course they come stock like that anyway, with nice original racing tires and everything else stay the same. I'd probably put Bose in it though. You know, you gotta upgrade those speakers. And probably Grandma's car. 1957 Bel Air. Candy apple red. I think she'd love to have that car. Convertible one. Not a hard top, convertible. Oh man, now that, that would be a sexy vehicle. But if I were greedy, a little bit, just a little bit of greed, out of all the vehicles, Claren P1, it is actually the only vehicle nearest to Formula One because a Formula One has the same identical spectrum, a fighter jet, because that's how fast, that's how quick, that's how technological the system is. It's so precise in the precision of every last inch of a Formula One car is analyzed for each specific reason. But for the most part, the Formula One and the McLaren P1 are probably close together. This is a beautiful car though. It's like a little race there. Um, but I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna make a sandwich because I'm starting to get hungry now. Oh, Grandma's making roast today. got done with that made my sandwich well i want to go ahead and dive into this guys so yeah and welcome back guys it is 318 right now and i went ahead and i got forza horizon 3 the ultimate edition it's like 99 dollars, but it was well worth it. it came with vip i get car packs for months and months a few other extra stuff and also get the mclaren p1 and a few other cars for free too so that's good and as well as jake because i have my account on his xbox and of course he's in the uk but he can still access my account so that's okay let's see here run did you already have your fill yeah, you did you ended up getting more of that what is this again grum uh some type of macaroni looks good though we got oh man the potatoes the beans the bread Oh, we're gonna be eating good. Mm. Let me go ahead and dive into this crap and I'll be back. All right, guys, I got done eating. That was about, I think, 35 on the 40 minutes ago. It was good. Grandma always makes good roast. It's a beautiful day. I came outside. I just wanted to enjoy the beauty, the natural beauty. I wanna go ahead and say two things. Uh, one is the job part. Making 9,000 a year working here. $8 an hour. Got to cut all that in half at the end of the month for dad and the insurance. Insurance for me is about a thousand bucks. Him, I got to pay off is $6,500. He's expecting me to pay him back. I respect that. I even told him that I would. So I can't go back on that. And plus he's the one that got me the car. So I can't really say much. Unless it was my car, then I could have all the authority. He can take it back if he wants. But for the most part, for the most part, this newer job, making $9 an hour, working overtime, even through uh, Saturday, be making between twenty dollars to $25,000 a year. Good deal, be able to pay for everything that I need, and the stuff for the vlogs, and just overall to enjoy, so on and etc. Guys, I don't want y'all to think I know everything in the world. I don't. I don't. I'm just trying to use good judgment and good wisdom. Now, I know I've been, I don't know. I just feel like I keep on disappointing people, and I don't want to, and it's hard to comprehend because I guess I'm just starting to acknowledge or something, I don't know. I try to do good, but some people don't understand how I think, and I guess I don't understand how some people think, and for that, I am truly sorry. I'm just go ahead and say that. I'm not perfect. I'm going to tell you that here, and that's it. I am not perfect, okay? I don't know everything in the world. I don't know the true meaning of life, but I'm learning, I'm learning. I don't know what else you want from me. 
Do you want me to make a circle, a fire pit, and sing kumbaya to you or something? Do I need to lay down $20,000 and burn it and say, oh well. Do I need to jump off a bridge and take my life for you to say that I'm worthy? Because I would. Because I love every one of my friends. They're good people. They're not bad. They may not agree with the things I, I know and probably are completely confused on how I talk about and interpret stuff. And sometimes I am confused with them because, you know, they do stuff that I don't typically normally do. And it just resolves around, I feel like I'm getting beaten down by not knowing, you know. But at the end of the day, all I can do is understand, say yes or no, and go on with my life. That's how the world works. Nothing more, nothing less. You just have to have good judgment and good wisdom. And that's it. At so anywho, we got run outside. Grandma sweeping the porch because she just feels like it. For the rest of the day, I'm just, just out of out of words, really. All right, guys, it is 7.43. I was actually really hoping to go into town today and go pick up my package for my uh, Apple Watch. I was going to get the band, but I guess it's just taking its time shipping here, I guess. I don't know. I may get it tomorrow, or I may get it on Tuesday, or something like that. Uh, hopefully it comes in. Uh, but for the most part, guys, uh, I'll keep you updated on that and show you what it looks like. Anywho, I was really wanting to go into town, like I said, to go get up the package. But not just only that, I was actually... I'm actually thinking about getting a new hat. I mean, I've had this one for years now, but I need a new upgrade. Just had some chocolate milk. I was kind of thinking about getting a Nike one. And there's this one that's a New York Yankee one, but it's also Nike fit too. I was like, oh, that is awesome. And I'm like, whoa, when did they start doing that? I don't know. They do the same thing for uh, certain football teams. Like I seen the ones that were Steelers. I was at, at Champs. They had a Steeler one. They had a Dallas Cowboy. And I think they also had... Also the New York Jets, of course. And they all had the Nike sign on it. And I was like, what? So I, I guess Nike's doing a, little, a newer thing that I didn't even know of. So I may go check those out and see if I can't find one that I like. And they're pretty cheap too. They're not too expensive. I know what I'm gonna have now. Cheesecake. I hate that stupid clock. Yep, ended up making me some uh, cheesecake earlier. Oh, it's amazing. Literally nothing at all, period. We didn't really do anything. Uh, but what I can tell you is, like, subscribe, comment, share it, live it, love it, go to the bathroom with it, whatever it may be. Like always, so God help me. Until next time, guys. You know how I am. Skadoosh.